We've just arrived in front and DMG Mori. Now, this is their open house 2020, and you've got 40 machines here, and they've got all different types of complex automation systems that really benefits you. But one that takes my fancy, and I'm going to quiz Paul about this, is the NTX 1000. It's a good seller in the UK, but also worldwide. But this is the Milturn version. But why are these becoming more popular, Paul? It's for those parts that you want. To, you need to do in one hit. You've got lots of features. You don't want to be taking them off the machine and putting them onto somewhere else. And, and the NTX 1000, this is the second generation, is a very, very compact machine, um, but albeit with, with a reasonably big working envelope. Now, they achieve that. I know it's attracting a lot of attention, but they, they, if we can get closer to the machine, it's good to see. They achieve that by having this very, very compact mill turn head which is almost, you know, it's not much bigger than that in terms of its height or width or whatever we want to call it, which means that the working envelope in the machine, uh, you know, the opportunity for collision is less and you can get a bigger working envelope as a result of that, that head because when it's tipped at 90 degrees, it's not taking up a huge amount of space. Uh, but also, interestingly, it's a 20,000 RPM head on this machine. So when you're talking about turning parts, yeah, 6,000 RPM, that's the sorts of speeds for this sort of bar capacity. But milling, you know, you do want to be able to go up to those high speeds in order to not just remove material quickly, but enhance your surface finishes and basically improve your productivity. Now also with this machine, what I like about the layout of it is the tool changer here, for example. This has got 76 tool stations here. Now how easy is this and how close is this for the operator to be able to you know, manage his tool system as well as operate the machine at the same time. Sometimes tool changes around the back of the machine, but here it's right at the front and very, very accessible. But so, some engineers might say that isn't it better to have a, a, a two separate machines for turning and milling? Do, do you think they're as good? I think it, it, it all depends on your, yet some people will. Some people will say, I'd rather have two machines, I've got two spindles, I can, you know, if there's, I can basically separate, you know, uh, the capacity. But here what you've got is you're achieving one hit manufacture, which means you've got a better chance of, well, you will produce the part to the quality that you need. There's very little risk of scrapping components as a result of doing it all in one hit. But with this machine as well, we also now have the IMTR. Now this um, is essentially a, a solution for loading and unloading the, the parts. If you move this way, Mark, the camera will be able to get in and see. Yep. You've obviously got the, the raw billets here, which are gonna be fed into the machine, and then the finished components here to the tray on the right. Now we're seeing a lot of this, not just um, in the UK, Europe, but around the world. Companies looking to have the machine that's a one hit solution, but not just finishing the part in one hit, but actually loading the next one without the intervention as well. But also, also which DMG and Murray are very good at, it's a very robust, stable machine, very rigid. I presume you can actually get deep cuts on this, but also hard metals. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I wouldn't be shy of machining any material on, the, on this uh, concept of machine, in canals, titaniums, aluminiums, whatever you're looking to, to do, because DMG and Murray pride themselves on all industries, you know, the medical sector, aerospace, automotive, you know, we're here in Germany, a very, very strong automotive industry amongst others. Walking around this factory, seeing where these machines are made today, I mean, just to see what goes into it, you know, the, the quality of the componentry, how it's all put together, you can see why machines like this don't just look good, but do provide that quality of component as well. And I'll tell you something, these machines are not just going out on their own these days. It's all about automation to make it more profitable, isn't it? It is, and that's what we're seeing here this week. Keep tuned to the channel. Lots more videos like this on this type of technology at DMG Mori's Front and Open House.